Let's now start working on the body. We will work in continuous rounds. Take your body color yarn and have six single crochets into a magic ring on our first row. Close the magic circle. On second row, we increase in every single stitch. And by the end of second row, you will have 12 stitches. I go into my first one, my first stitch, and I place my stitch marker. We have an increase in every single stitch. So two single crochets into the same stitch. That's an increase. This is my first increase. I have to make six more. So now we have we have 12 stitches. We start third row with a single crochet into the first stitch and an increase into the next one. So one single crochet in my first stitch and an increase into the next one. We repeat this six times. Now I have to do this five more times. So one single crochet increase. One single crochet increase into the next one. One single crochet increase. By the end of third row, you will have 18 stitches. We start fourth row with two single crochets into the next two stitches. This is my first single crochet. I add my marker. I want to cut this remaining yarn tail because it's in my way. So we have two single crochets into the first two stitches. I've made one, I, have an, I need to make another one. And then increase into the next one. I repeat this six times. So two single crochets. One, two, and then an, an increase into the third stitch.
by the end of fourth row you will have 24 stitches we start row 5 with 3 single crochets into the first 3 stitches my first stitch and I place my stitch marker so 1 2 3 and an increase two stitches into the same stitch to have the increase and we repeat this five more times one two three increase one two three increase By the end of fifth row, you will have 30 stitches. We start sixth row with four single crochets into the four into the next four stitches and an increase in the next one. So four single crochets into the first four stitches. One, two, three and four into the next one I will increase increase and I repeat this five more times one two three four increase By the end of sixth row, you will have 36 stitches. So you, if you want to double check, if you are okay with the number of stitches, you can start counting. On the next row, we will crochet, we will crochet, sorry, we will crochet the tail using a bubble stitch. Start row 7 with 2 single crochets into the first 2 stitches. One, two, 
and then you have a bubble stitch made out of six half double crochets into the next one that will be the tail yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch pull the yarn pull it through two loops yarn over go into the same stitch pull the yarn and pull it through two loops now you have three loops on your hook yarn over insert now you have four five six and we should do one more When you have seven loops on your hook, you can yarn over and pull, pull it, pull the yarn through all the loops on your hook. So this is our tail. And then we have 33 single crochets into the next 33 stitches. So I go in this stitch. I like to put it a little loose so I can push my bubble stitch and then get it tighter and pull the yarn. And this is how my tail looks like. And till the end of the row, I will only have single crochets. So 22 more single crochets. I finished my seventh row single crochet for the next two rows into 36 stitches so when finishing row 9 you will have 36 stitches two rounds of 36 Let's meet back here after finishing row 9. On row 10, we start with 4 single crochets into the next 4 stitches and a decrease. And we repeat that 6 times. This is my first single crochet. second, third, and fourth, and we continue with a decrease. We repeat this five more times. One, two, three, four, decrease
by the end of 10th row you will have 30 stitches single crochet for the next three rounds into 30 stitches so when finishing 13 row you will have 30 stitches three rows of 30 stitches I'll meet you back here at the end of 13 row. On row 14, we start with three single crochets into the next three stitches and a decrease. And we repeat that six times. So three single crochets. Decrease one, two, three, decrease, and I do this till the end of my round. By the end of 14th row, you will have 24 stitches. Single crochet for the next two rows into 24 stitches. When finishing 16, 16th row, you will have 24 stitches. So two rounds with 24 stitches. I'll meet you back there, back here, sorry, at the end of row 16. I finished row 16 with 24 stitches. And now on row 17, we start with two single crochets into the next two stitches and a decrease. Repeat that six times. By the end of row 17, you will have 18 stitches. So two single crochets into the next two stitches. This is my first one. One, two, and a decrease. I go into the front loops of the next two stitches, grab my yarn and have my decrease. And I repeat this till the end of the round.
I finished row 17 with 18 stitches. On row 18, our last one, we have 18 single crochets into the next 18 stitches and slip stitch leaving a long tail for sewing. So this is our last round. We will have 18 single crochets and we finish with a slip stitch. And I will finish with a slip stitch. Make sure to leave a long tail for sewing. You will sew your head onto the body. And this is how it looks like. Our body looks like. 